Hey, welcome to this Windows 10 channel and this is a video for all of those on Windows 10 with the anniversary update installed. There's a cumulative update waiting for everybody. This is not for insiders, this is for everyone. So if you are on Windows 10, you have anniversary update, check out your Windows updates in the updated security. Uh, you will have a update, a cumulative update called KB3176938. Cumulative update for Windows 10 version 1611, uh, 1607. Sorry, it is the latest update for Windows 10. If you have it installed, or if you're not sure, just type the winver command, the Windows version command. You should be, as of today, August 31st, on 14393.105. This is the latest version of Windows 10 right now. Now this update seems to fix a lot of stuff, uh, including, first of all, improved reliability of Windows Inc. workspace, improved reliability of Microsoft Edge, and that's important. I'm going to talk about this a little bit. Uh, improved reliability of file server, of the Windows kernel, of the Microsoft component object model, uh, L services, I-Pro-V, also uh, multi-factor authentic authentication, uh, NTFLs, MTFS file system, fixed PowerShell issue. A lot of people were talking about how PowerShell was a problem in uh, the last cumulative update, which broke PowerShell, basically. It's apparently fixed now uh, in this version uh, of cumulative updates, so uh, probably fine for now. Improved performance on Windows Store apps. They also uh, fixed um, facial recognition. If you're using uh, Hello, uh, Windows Hello to uh, log in, they fixed Internet Explorer 11. A lot of improvement options. Um, Windows Store, Windows Shell, also uh, graphics adapter performance. Uh, so some of you were saying that you had problems with your games. Maybe it's fixed here because of the graphics that they've seemed to fix. Improved performance related to purchasing Windows Store apps. Improved battery life of wearable devices uh, like uh, Microsoft Band while Bluetooth is connected to idle. Improved compatibility of Xbox One controllers with various, various games. Uh, addressed issues with incorrect character for Japanese and Unicode. Addressed issues to prevent the download and initialization of .NET objects in Internet 11. Improved uh, support of near field communication, the NFC chips, if you have a Windows 10 mobile phone. The, they addressed issues of game and app audio not resuming after a call on Windows 10 mobile. And finally, they fixed all sorts of issues with uh, compatibility, remote desktop, BitLocker, PowerShell, Direct3D, network policies, dynamic access control, Microsoft Edge, connected standby, mobile device management printing, fingerprint logon, Cortana. So tons of fixes in here. This is what was supposed to be probably yesterday. And finally, uh, yesterday was released to uh, release preview ring, probably for a little test. And now it's for everybody. So this is interesting. It fixes a lot of stuff. An example that I got is I actually got it about two hours ago and I started playing around because I wanted to use it a little bit before I even talk about it. One of the things I seem to, it seems to have fixed is issues with Edge. Now I was ranting about Edge this week if you are watching my videos and I started of course thinking that maybe I should move on to another platform. But look how crisp and how fast my pages are appearing in Edge right now. It seems to have fixed issues with Edge uh, on the Windows uh, desktop. Even the uh, problem that I had uh, from the different tabs open and I couldn't close and I had to force stop Edge. Now I did get a little error message at some point but it, that, that's a very minor issue compared to what it uh, problems I was having. I really have the impression they fixed everything that was wrong with Edge in this uh, cumulative update. So if you've got problems in Windows 10, I think it's worth checking it out. Update your computers. We've also learned a little more today about, um, you know, I was telling you last week, 77.2% of people not on anniversary update. 
it really looks like Microsoft put a hold on the upgrade process so that they can actually fix tons of little things that people have been complaining about before continuing and pushing on the updates to everybody. So um, with this update, um, probably more people, and I've read a number somewhere that we would be probably below 70% now of uh, people with no, that have not updated yet to the anniversary update. So it's kind of interesting. They're working hard and fixing a lot of issues. So whatever issue you had with your PC on anniversary update, check out this update because it seems to fix tons of little things and tons of problems. So uh, check it out. Um, I sure find that it seems to have fixed a lot of things here in my computer and um, it is worth checking out. So go to your Windows updates and check out to make sure you've got your latest ver update of cumulative update for Windows 10 uh, out today, August 31st. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. If you had problems or if you have no problems and you want to share your experience with this cumulative update, uh, please do. I'd like to know if you had problems, did it fix some of your issues? If you don't have problems, did it create new problems for you? Uh, I would like to have your feedback. I love uh, seeing you know, real world experience from all of you watching my videos. So please uh, leave your comments below. I, I want to see uh, and hear from you guys uh, how it's been going. So uh, thanks for watching.